So I have a topic today and it's a in response to a message that I got in direct message um, last night after we did the live with Ev Woodard. Um, and it's um, it's and I've lots of new eyes um, in the meantime. So so those of you who don't know me, my name is Olive O'Sullivan um, and I'm the owner of a brow tea cork, which is an eyebrow microblading service. Um, and I'm a qualified nurse and midwife and have been for 39 years. But one of the questions that came in last night was, Olive, are your eyebrows microbladed? And it is a very pertinent question because it's the first thing that people ask me when they come through my door um, into clinic is, whoa, I don't want eyebrows as strong as yours, Olive. And my automatic reaction is, well, you won't get eyebrows as strong as mine because mine are machine brows. And I, and you know, she's dead right. I mean, I actually, if I was going to a hairdresser's, I would actually look at the hairdresser's hair to see what kind of hair she is. If I was going to have my nails done, I would look to see what her nails are like. And I suppose it's no different when people come to me that they would actually automatically look at my eyebrows are like because they want to see if we're a good fit and my eyebrows are machine brow I don't do machine brow as a service in my clinic I do eyebrow microblading and eyebrow micro shading um which is quite a sheer and very natural look and a conservative type of brow but I am a big personality I love my gray hair but I always painted in my eyebrows very dark I did have my eyebrow microblading over the years, but for some reason, my skin just does not retain the eyebrow pigment very well. So I did the whole eyebrow microblading. And then eventually, because it wasn't retaining very well, I was I, I actually had reached at some point that it was um, my, the eyebrow microblading wasn't lasting anything longer than six months. Plus, it was too sheer and too light for me and too dusty. So. I was looking for a strong brow. I was actually looking for a made up brow, a brow that's like makeup um, that is there, like a fully made up brow, 24 hours. And that does not suit everybody. And it doesn't suit everybody's personality. And even though this is what I have, this is not the treatment that I do for my clients. I use a conservative and very uh, light, dusty eyebrow and we start it in a conservative way so eyebrow microblading we always go lighter than you might like so that we can build up to it rather than going too thick and too dark like mine for example and you might hate it and then we're all in trouble then at that point do you know because I can't take it away if we actually went too thick and too dark at the start uh, whereas it's easier to add to it so when you come to us for your consultation, uh, one of the first questions that we say to you is, so what kind of an eyebrow style are you looking for? Now, this is nothing to do with shape. Your shape will be determined by your facial morphology. But the eyebrow style is something that we uh, will discuss with you in relation to how strong or sheer you're looking for in an eyebrow um, uh, microblading result. So usually we ask you to arrive with your eyebrow pencil or shadow on so that I get an idea as to how you like your look. And then we will try to match it then with eyebrow microblading, either blading on its own or blade and shade. But as you know, we are known for our conservative approach. If you're looking for a bit more drama, well, then these are the words that I would actually be listening out for when you would be describing the type of look that you are looking for. So these would be the words that uh, if you are looking for a very defined brow, these are the words that generally are used. A strong brow, a deeper brow, a vivid brow, a bold brow, not very uh, sheer, a highly dense brow, a highly defined brow. That is usually in that we would be better off going down the road of blade and shade straight off the bat. Um, that is generally the younger person, not me obviously, um, and somebody who has got a poor brow but is looking for that made-up look 24-7. 
And then we have the really conservative people who are more suited to microblading. And the wording that they tend to use would be a fluffy brow. A fluffy but a natural looking brow. Um, a little fill in please. A conservative brow. A little bit more definition to what I normally have. Super soft would be another one. Uh, super sheer, that's what I'm looking for. Light and dusty are a light powder effect. They're usually the people who are, um, they know what they want. All they're looking for is something to enhance what they naturally have. And it gives a light, natural looking effect. And they're the people that are generally the person that falls under the microblade category on their own. And we'd go for a very light colour to start with. They usually sort of get bolder as time goes as time goes on and generally they've grown into their eyebrow at that point. But you know what? It all doesn't happen at step one and you've got three visits. So we can get more bold on the second visit and even more bold again on the third visit if you want to. And then the language that's used for people who've got no eyebrows at all. We've got to, you know, create a whole new eyebrow. We've got to either create tails or we've got to create an uh, arch or we've got to create height. Um, and invariably, they are the people that we would start with microblading on its own so that they can grow into um, having an eyebrow after having no eyebrow for long so we go with microblade on its own and oftentimes at the second step we would go for blade and shade so that's the language that's used when you're actually having a consultation with us so as i say the shape of the brow is taken care of with your facial morphology and the type of brow then is what we actually discuss when you and i meet and we love you to bring in photographs of what uh, you would like your brow to look like and we'll be able to discuss it with you. And we like you to either to wear your brow product, be it pencil or um, powder or a brow mascara, whatever it is that you use so that we can actually sing off the same hem sheet and that we can deliver the eyebrows to you. If you're looking for a highly defined powder brow, machine brow like what I've got, that's not a service that we offer here in Clonacilty, but I can refer you on to somebody who does that service and it's under our umbrella at 42. So, yes, so that's why it's very important that you can actually discuss with you, with us, what you want. If you don't tell us what you want, well, then you won't be disappoint disappointed. So, I know I said in the previous um, story that this is not a service that we offer here in Clannacilty. What I meant was this is not a service that I offer in Browtique. Um, and if you're looking for that highly defined and powdered look, well, then... I know somebody who is under our umbrella, who is at 42 in our building, who will be able to give you a highly defined brow. But if you're looking for a conservative brow and you haven't had a brow for quite some time, well, then I suggest you try microblading first. And then if it so happens that you're looking for that fully made up powdered look all day, every day, 24 hours, a bit like what I have, well, then I'll refer you on to the other person who is in our building. Either way, we'll take care of you and take care of your eyebrows. All right, I'll chat to you soon. I hope that helps.